DeAndre Hunter. X Factor. Spectacular. Got a quiet fire that burns within. A three way guy, a guy that can, a three and D kind of guy that can defend multiple positions. The versatility of his game is going to make him fit automatically into the NBA. DeAndre Hunter, national champion, physical specimen, and a prototype combo forward that the modern NBA covets given his defensive versatility and floor space. The Philadelphia native not seen as a surefire NBA prospect out of high school, Hunter redshirted his first year at Virginia, but quickly burst onto the NBA radar during the 2017-18 season thanks to his defense and athletic profile. Often earning Kawhi Leonard comparisons by some, Hunter actually resembles OG Ananobi most from a physical sense both standing near 6 foot 8 with a strong frame and 72 plus wingspan. Hunter figures to play a similar role to Ananobi as well as a 3 and D style combo forward. Hunter's continual improvement, steady overall play, high floor winning impact and eventual 27 point outburst in the national championship game solidified his status as a potential top 5 prospect in the 2019 NBA Draft. Hunter plays above the rim in space thanks to his combination of size and length at 6'8 with a 7'2 wingspan. Although an average leaper in traffic, he's powerful and explosive in space off of one leg or two, hammering home a handful of poster dunks last season. His length figures to stand out even more at the rim with NBA spacing. Hunter's sheer size allows him to shed contact on the way to the rim. He's a physical specimen with a shredded frame that makes him a tough cover for smaller wings or guards after switches. He's comfortable operating with his back to the basket when he has a mismatch and can use his strength effectively on the defensive glass when he's fully engaged and aggressive. What makes Hunter such an intriguing prospect is his defensive versatility as he comfortably checked all five positions at the collegiate level for a top five defense in the country. He's competitive with quick feet and tremendous on-ball technique, regularly using his body to wall off, but keeping his hands high to avoid hand check calls. His strength and length make him really tough for even the most physical of drivers, as you can see here against RJ Barrett. He cuts off driving lanes to the rim and does a fantastic job of maintaining a balanced, strong base as he reacts to an opponent's counter move. Hunter's ability to check NBA wings, big combo forwards, and switch onto point guard seamlessly makes him the perfect fit for the modern NBA. He covers ground impressively on closeouts as well, getting shooters off their spots, yet staying in the play and using his length to bother shots in the paint. Not only can he contain penetration, but he's extremely difficult to shoot over, and he's more than willing to take on the challenge of stopping a team's premier perimeter player. Hunter's strength and physicality allows him to check bigs on the block as well, as you can see here against 260 pound center, Steven Enoch. Hunter's low base and proportionate frame helps him hold his ground on the interior impressively. While he still needs to improve his instincts off the ball, he has the tools to be a factor in that area as the game slows down for him. His 7-2 wingspan helps him in the passing lanes and at the rim when the play is right in front of him. Improving his off-ball instincts will allow him to become an all-NBA type of defender because he's well on his way given his on-ball impact. Hunter made a huge jump from beyond the arc as a sophomore, almost doubling his three-point attempts and raising his percentage from 38.2% to 43.8% while shooting over 75% from the free throw line for the second consecutive season. Hunter has simple, compact mechanics, especially from the corners. He's at his best when he's completely stationary with time and space as he ranked in the 90th percentile on catch and shoot jumpers as a sophomore. Spot ups made up over 30% of Hunter's offense last season and he's more than comfortable playing off of more ball dominant players cashing in on his open looks. While at his best with his feet set, he's also capable of stepping into a one or two dribble pull up if run off the line. Hunter also found quite a bit of success as a pick and pop man while playing the small ball four spot where he figures to function quite regularly in the NBA. Hunter is versatile out of these actions, as he can attack his closing out defender into a pull-up or get all the way to the rim in a straight line. Although not the most gifted shot creator, Hunter showed flashes getting to mid-range pull-ups as a mismatch four, ranking in the 75th percentile on isolations with 71 possessions. He loves attacking to his left before pulling up, even mixing in step backs while remaining on balance. He can be a bit predictable as smart defenders have simply sat on his left hand and swiped the ball away, 
but the simple fact that he can occasionally get to pull-ups and knock them down gives him potential to be much more than just a fourth or fifth option offensively in time. Hunter's improved shooting stroke shows in the mid post as well. He loves to inside pivot and create space with jab steps before shooting over the top of his opponent with a high release. Hunter used 40 post up possessions in 38 games, finishing in the 88th percentile by scoring over one point per possession. He builds off the jab step jumper, using that to set up short pull ups going to his left hand. He can operate from the elbows as well. Then when defenders try to take his airspace, he can attack the rim with rip throughs along the baseline. Hunter has one of the highest floors in the draft because he can defend multiple positions, make an open shot, and he knows how to play within a system. He doesn't have the most natural feel, but he plays within himself and can make basic reads that are right in front of him. A national champion who played a key role on the number two offense in the country, Hunter improved his assist to turnover ratio as a sophomore, and his maturity will surely be attractive to a top 10 team that's in search of another building block who impacts winning. He's far from an elite passer, but he knows his strengths and weaknesses and is likely to play a similar role in the NBA that he did in college. Although he's made strides offensively, Hunter is still quite limited with the ball for a top five caliber prospect. He's a clunky ball handler with bad hands and a loose handle. As you can see here, he's not someone you hand the ball to and say, go get us a high quality bucket. He's much more effective playing off of others as a mismatched small ball four type. He shouldn't be viewed as a wing shot creator as he simply isn't comfortable operating at a side pick and roll, evident by the fact that he used only 22 possessions as the pick and roll ball handler last season. Hunter doesn't get all the way to the rim, especially going to his left which is a product of his suspect handle and lack of fluidity with the ball. Hunter is far too predictable in shot creation situations as well. While it's beneficial that he can shoot off the dribble at times, he's far too reliant on short pull-ups going to his left. As you can see here with Marquis Bolden switched onto him, he just doesn't have a variety of moves in his bag to choose from and relies on these mid-range pull-ups. While a solid decision maker overall, Hunter just isn't a gifted passer at this stage and has some questions to answer about how he'll handle playing read and react basketball against scrambling defenses. He'll drive with his head down to the rim, only seeing an open teammate if he's right in front of him. Even if he is, Hunter far too often gets the ball knocked away or fails to execute the basic pass. His overall awareness of where the help defense is coming from needs some work. As you can see here out of a few of Virginia's patented pin downs, He's simply unable to feed the screener for the open dunk because of his head down nature and lack of vision. While his finishing metrics are strong, Hunter lacks a degree of finesse and touch around the rim, especially when put on his left hand. He's really right hand dominant at this stage and doesn't have nearly the same amount of pop when he's in a crowd as he does when he's in space. As you can see here in transition, he doesn't have much wiggle getting into finishing moves and doesn't have a Euro step to keep defenders off balance. On top of that, Hunter made only four floaters in 38 games and could stand to add more touch shots around the rim as he'll surely have to adjust to NBA length and athleticism in the paint. Hunter was really reliant on power at the collegiate level yet he doesn't have much of a knack for drawing fouls against NBA caliber defenses. He loses balance more often than you'd expect given his strong, proportionate frame and simply struggles to convert when he has to deal with contact from the primary defender and length from the weak side. Hunter should be a sound finisher on shots that his teammates create for him. It's more about converting the shots that he creates that could take his game to the next level. While a career 42% three-point shooter at the collegiate level, Hunter's confidence comes and goes from the perimeter, and he's not the most versatile shooter given the nature of his release. He has a deep crouch, wide base, and slightly backward lean. He rarely catches on the hop and is much more of a manufactured shooter than a natural one. Although he's accurate, Hunter turns down far too many open looks, in part because it takes him a while to get his shot off. As you can see here, he's not even looking at the rim on the catch passing up multiple rhythm threes for a mid-range pull-up. Hunter needs to work on speeding up his release and improving his shot preparation in order to become a threat on the catch rather than needing a second or two to get his legs under him. 
He likes to catch, shot fake, and jab a little bit too often and would benefit from becoming a more comfortable on the move shooter as his jumper is currently best suited for the small ball four spot. For as good as he is on the ball, Hunter isn't the most assertive off ball defender, not using his physical gifts like he could. As you can see here, he's in perfect position to make a play at the rim against Zion Williamson. While partially due to UVA's pack line defense, the fact that Hunter finished with only 44 combined steals and blocks in 38 games is a bit worrisome in regards to his defensive instincts. He can improve his verticality off the ball and simply isn't that decisive in help side situations. While he's physically gifted, teams didn't always feel his presence. And he was a bit passive at times, as you can see here with Zion walking him right under the rim and creating a deep catch and finish. He looked uncomfortable at times off the ball when one pass away, not sure whether to dig, full body commit and clog off his man or stay home completely. Hunter missed out on a lot of opportunities to help on dribble penetration, but the game appeared to be moving a little too fast for him. Here he takes a bad angle on a closeout versus RJ Barrett due to poor positioning. He's also not the rebounder he could be either, averaging just 6.2 boards per 40 minutes, despite his impressive physical profile. Whether on the glass, defensive, or offensive end, there were far too many games this season where Hunter simply blended in, which is a bit of a worry for a team set to invest a high draft pick in the 21-year-old forward. Who is almost like OG Adenobi, uh, who plays for the Toronto Raptors. He's built to come up with 50-50 balls. Very good on the ball defender as well. Kept coming at you all the time. Like, this is who this kid is. Hunter is far from a sexy pick loaded with upside. He's likely never going to be a team's number one scoring option in the half court and can certainly improve his feel for the game and overall offensive polish. But Hunter is the type of high intangible prospect with a winning pedigree, likely to maximize his potential long term. Every team is looking for a multi-positional defender who can knock down open threes, and Hunter does exactly that, making him one of the safest prospects in the draft with the potential to step in and start games as a rookie.